What's up everybody, welcome back. And in today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the Thule Overnight Cycling Bag. So stick around. All right, we're gonna be doing just a quick overview on this bag. At the end of this, if you have any more questions, please don't forget to just throw them in the comments, all right? And I'll answer them, I'll get back to you, no problems. We're gonna start from the outside, right here, my left, your right. And if we open this up, it's actually a tarp lined pouch that holds your shoes and shoes. That is my one complaint about this bag and probably my only complaint is that this um, bag for the shoes is smaller. I wear a size 10, so getting that in and out can be a bit choresome sometimes. But I'll tell you what, having a place just to put your shoes that's not with the rest of your stuff or in the back of your car where you could potentially forget it is just great. So I'll take it where I can take it. It's a good compromise. And if we move up to the front, this big pouch in the front right here is actually my favorite part of this whole bag. So if you take a look in here, you can pretty much see that I have here everything and anything that I need. I've got Allen keys, shock pump lube. I have my little earphone things. I have my Garmin, some other knickknacks over here. I've just got a bunch of stuff in here. So, and once again, it's tarp line. So that way the stuff in here is water resistant and pretty awesome. Moving along to this smaller bag up front. I want to say this is for like your cell phone or keys or something. I just shoved stickers in there. I got a massive amount of stickers in here that I've just been collecting and throwing in there. So it's my sticker pouch. All right, so the next thing we're gonna move into is the actual inside. For the outside, that's pretty much all the bags you get on the outside. Uh, inside. All right, so once again, right here, the lid is tarp lined and there's actually a zipper. You can throw your dirty laundry in there. It's fully tarp lined in here and you don't really gotta worry about anything once you throw your dirty clothes in there. It won't stink up everything else, but please don't forget to take your dirty laundry out of there. Don't forget like I did. And when you open it, it's like just a bomb going off. So that's always great. So this first thing that I have on top here is this changing poncho which surprisingly not a lot of people have heard about. I will put a link in the description. And if you guys want to see a video of this, I don't know, I was thinking of possibly doing a video. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I also have my waste pack in here. I always make sure to empty it out. So the only thing in here are my necessities that I take with me on the trail. Then I just fill it with water, a couple of snacks, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so the inside right here, we got my helmets, we have Everything in here very neatly sectioned off, which I love because I hate rummaging, trying to find socks or the other glove. I already know my gloves are going to be right there, you know. I have two sets of mountain biking attire, two sets of road biking attire, along with like the bibs, a couple sets of sunglasses in here. I have butt butter, sunscreen, socks, my knee pads are in here hiding out, and it's just great. If you don't need this though, it's great because it, little buttons, you unbutton it, collapse it, and you can use the rest of the bag as you uh, choose to use it. So let me know. If you guys have any questions or comments, throw them down in the comments section below if you have any questions about anything. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.